Luck. A simple word that has been around for years, but it has a deeper meaning. Let's say you miss a train, just by a simple jump. Let's say you find a four-leaf clover, or you get a million subs overnight. Those all will be considered luck nowadays, right? I feel like luck has been stretched to something it's not. It became a way for any jealous person to feel better. Hey, I just got 20,000 likes on my post. Oh, uh, it's just luck. If you go deep down, does luck even exist? I'm a big believer of the everything happens for a reason motto. The way that kid got 20,000 likes is because he was funny, not because it was luck. If he didn't post at all, then he wouldn't get likes. They wouldn't show up out of nowhere. Usually luck goes to people that do good, and bad luck goes to people that do bad. I think it should be the opposite. Of course, if luck was real, I think that people who are unlucky should get luck, and people that are already luck should not get either. Elders before they leave will say good luck on your trip, and I see how saying that could help, but if you drive good and don't die, is that considered luck? Welp, I took the wrong turn. That was not me. That was the goddess of luck. It's not like I accidentally turned the wheel. Ha! Ha! Uh, or when someone says good luck to something you don't have control over, so it's all in the other person's hands. Hey, w want a piece of candy? Sure. Also, if you crash this plane, all of us will die and I will haunt you. Have a safe flight. I think a lot of things that people think is luck is actually something that happens to start a chain of events. Life is a snowball, and every time something happens, it keeps on growing, and as the leaves get on it, it makes it mushy, which means something bad happened, but the snowball is still breathing because he learned lessons through those missteps. I mean, sure, maybe getting a drawing tablet on your birthday that costs more than you is pretty lucky, but that one thing may just lead to you becoming an animator for Pixar. Whereas if you didn't get one at all, you could become, um, this guy. And if someone is getting something you would want, and you say how horrible your life is because you don't have it, you should keep in mind that everyone gets their share of something good. Whenever I feel forgotten or that my channel is dying, I just remember, out of all the people in the universe, it will basically be impossible for me not to go viral someday. You have to be patient with a lot of things you want, and work hard every day. The video you post will probably be there till YouTube ends. Let's say YouTube will be around for more than 100 more years. In those 100 years, you will at least get that video one view, if not maybe even 100,000 or even 1 million. Every day people are finding new people on social media, and one day they will find you. I got really sappy there, and I'm sorry. That moves on to my luck. It's pretty bad. I remember I went to a lake with some of my friends, and I saw a fish in the water, and my idea was to be the first kid to catch a fish with my bare hands. I showed it to someone, and they said, Ew, that fish is dead. <laughs> you're just, you're just jealous how lucky I am. Ah! Another time we went camping and I found a trail. I love trails and if I see one, I automatically think there's something cool in there. This time we had a paper that listed all the rocks you could find and maybe even win a prize. When we went to a cliff area, it was pretty nice. I mean, if you fell, then it wouldn't be so good, but still cool. Right when we were walking a little more, a deer legit jumps out of nowhere and this deer was like one inch from my face. If I was a little closer, then, welp, uh, that would be unlucky. The last story is probably the worst. It doesn't have to do with me, but if it did go wrong, I wouldn't be alive today. Before I wasn't born, my mom had the opportunity to go to Disneyland. She was on one of the rides when she noticed her buckle was loose. When you know, she started hanging off the edge of the roller coaster. It all turned out good and her sister hung on to her. It's one of those situations that hurts your mind to think about. 